Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name is Caitlin. Welcome. Long time no see. I had a week off because of Vlogmas, it wore me out, but I am back to three videos a week for 2022 and we are kicking the year off, of course, with my Pan That palette intro. So, before I show you the palette, we all know what it is. Come on, I've spoken about this so many times. But if you're new, it'll be a surprise. Or not, if it's in the thumbnail, but we'll see. I just thought, you know what? Let's do a Mission Impossible. Last year, we kind of panned our Elf Truffles Bite Size palette. We didn't quite finish off the black, but we finished off three shades. So I thought, you know what? Why not do something that's like quadruple this size? You know? Why not? So I decided to go with, and if you've been on my channel before, if you watched videos from Vlogmas, you will know I chose my Modern Renaissance. Very original, I know. Like everybody and their grandmother has panned this eyeshadow palette, but 2023 is my time to try and pan it. And if you don't know, pinks aren't my thing. I'm gonna be real with you guys, come in. Come in. It's all right, pinks aren't my thing, but I think I can get a really good light. I can't, I don't think I can finish it. I'm gonna say that, okay? I'm not gonna be finishing this at all because that's crazy. But I think we could do really well in this. I am wearing it on my eyes today. It's the outer part of my eye. I do have a get ready with me coming very, very soon with this look. So if you wanted to know how I did this look, if you're curious, then stick around. Like and subscribe. I forgot to say that, but yeah, definitely like and subscribe because we're panning modern renaissance. As you can see, we've got very good progress. I've got hair on my lip gloss, oh my God. We've got very good progress on this palette already. We have completely finished Tempera. We have a huge pan in Vermeer, as you can see. We've got a pan in Cypress Umber. We have pans in Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange. And we have a pan in Warm Taupe as well. So, pretty good head start. I'm very proud of myself. I'm gonna be panning this just because it is my oldest palette. And it doesn't really speak to me anymore. I think if I get like loads of progress on this, maybe I'll be in a space to declutter it at the end of the year. I'm not too sure. But I just, I don't know. Like I like it. It's got warm tones. It's got neutral tones. It's got cool tones. It's nice. But I just want to give myself that push before I get rid of it because like it is, it is sentimental. And yeah, I don't know. I've seen so many people try and pan this and like do really, really well. So they are my inspiration. So let's go on with the goals for this year. So I want to hit pan in everything. That is my main goal. Hit pan in absolutely every single shade, which I don't think will be too bad apart from these two, Venetian Red and Love Letter. Like I said before, I'm not a big fan of pink, but I do have a bit of a plan. I may frank in them with maybe raw sienna to make a blush, I'm not sure. So golden ochre, I'm just expecting to hit pan on. Vermeer, I'm expecting to finish. I already have a massive pan in this. Bon Fresco, I think I might be able to finish. I've kind of fell in love with these, I don't know, grayy mauve shades and I'm, I'm gonna try and finish that. I think I can do it. Antique Bronze, I'm gonna try and hit pan on. This is more of a satin shade and I don't use like shimmer or satin dark shades. So I'm just gonna try and hit pan on that. Love Letter, again, hit pan. Cypress Umber, I would like to finish. I use this in my eyebrows now. Since finishing this shade, I've been using it in my brows and it is a perfect shade for my brows. So I'll be using it as an eyeshadow and a brow powder. Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange, I am a little bit worried about these two because they look the same. <laughs> I hate it when palettes do this, they put two of the same shade in a palette. So I'm gonna try and finish one. I mean, we already have pan in both of them, so who knows, but I don't know. Trying to finish them both, it's gonna be just like trying to finish two of the same shades and I don't really wanna do that to myself, but I don't know, maybe I'll look back on some other people's Pan That palettes from last year or a few years ago and see how they did it. If you've got any ideas, 
how you did it. If you pan this palette or you've seen people who do, definitely give me ideas, not just for them shades, for all the palette because I need help. <laughs> Primavera, it's got a huge dip in it. I wanna finish that. Red Ochre, hit pan. Venetian Red, hit pan. Warm Taupe, I wanna finish. And Rialgar, I'm gonna hit, say hit pan. I know that that's not like many finished shades, but I'd rather aim low and like go beyond than aim high and then just fail, you know? So yeah, this is my Pan That palette for 2023. I am filming this on the 7th of January right now and I have used the palette I think three times this year so far, but I'm not gonna go through those uses today. I'll just include them in the next update, I think, because it's just gonna be so boring. <laughs> I do also have a Pan That Face palette coming very soon. I used to do those in the same video, but because this is such a big palette, I am gonna be doing them in separate videos. So stick around till the middle of the month to catch that. And I should say this palette right now weighs 184.55 grams. That's where we're starting. I think we can get pretty far. I have a good feeling about this, I do, because it's got neutrals in it as well. I don't have to do pinks. I've got my beloved cool tones here. I can do it. I'm feeling good. Okay, that is it for this update, guys. This is really, really short. Um, Hopefully all of these updates aren't this short, but as I said, I'm just kind of introducing it. There's not really much I can say. There's no progress because it's the introduction. So if you are excited, definitely give this video a like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I'm so excited to be working on this palette. I did get a little bit of FOMO when everyone was working on it like last year and a few years ago and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. So yeah, I hope you have an amazing day. Are you panning a palette? Let me know because I'm nosy and I wanna check your channel out. Have an amazing day. I hope you had an amazing first week of 2023 and I will see you in the next video. Bye.